intellectual property is basically four areas of law at least tied together. So copyright, patents, trademarks, confidentiality, uh, and the like. And, and for the three big ones, patents, trademarks, copyright, property is the thing that drives them, right? So property is the, the big idea. And when times are normal, property is perfectly fine. It's unproblematic. The, the drama and the drama that's come up here with, with patents and COVID vaccine is that things are not normal. There is actually a very significant you know, it, you know, level of harm that's going to come from somebody exercising property rights. So it's a bit like the tobacco litigation, which just got decided in the World Trade Organization's appellate body. And so that's a big decision. Uh, and there's obviously a property interest in the trademark over tobacco, but if it's used in a particular way, it causes significant social harm. The problem here is that the use of a uh, the, the patent over a COVID vaccine could cause very significant social harm. And that's just something that, that obviously needs to be avoided. These are the big problems. There are two ways in which this could be done. Um, the first is that we take the existing compulsory licensing scheme uh, under TRIPS, modify it slightly so that, um, you know, we modify it via an understanding so that poorer countries can get access to cheaper generics faster. The alternative way, or the second way of, of doing this is that a TRIPS vaccine is basically open source. So it's, it's free for anyone to, to take. Um, you know, like how penicillin was created. I've long felt that TRIPS agreement does, does need a revision. I mean, it was drafted in 1995. It's obviously, you know, the negotiations went from 1983 to 95. It's, it's, it's almost pre, pre-internet, those, those negotiations. So there, there are technology issues now that have arisen. You know, the rise of artificial intelligence really um, raises questions over things like copyright and the like. But we've seen with food security that there have been big issues in the global south and developing countries like India. But the, you know, the, the effect that patents have on, on traditional agriculture, and, and that's, that's had a humanitarian um, you know, well, catastrophe, really. And then if you look at the tobacco, okay, the tobacco thing was line ball. I think Australia is lucky to get over the line. Um, I think that, that one of the real drivers, even if it's not acknowledged in the decisions in the WTO, is that the WTO has a legitimacy crisis. And that colours um, the, the decisions that they've made. They wouldn't necessarily have decided in favour of tobacco if it would mean that people are going to protest on the streets against the WTO. And that, that's a real issue. So I, and it's, it's one of the things I, I think why a, a COVID-19 vaccine would actually go the way of human rights and development is this legitimacy issue. But because this legitimacy issue exists, I think that means you've got to go back and look at what the provisions of TRIPS are and get to the root of the problem, which is the, the law itself. The, the law itself doesn't take into account adequately things like human rights, equity, development interests, um, you know, you can get a patent for something even if you've played a bit sharp in how you've, you've gone about acquiring it. That's a problem. So all that stuff needs to get fixed. So, yeah, a revision is, is desperately needed. Mm -hmm.